Welcome to one of the most beautiful destinations in the world, Banff, Canada. This begins an epic journey to explore this incredibly popular national park. We're going to show you the coolest mountain hotel and take you in one of the main tourist attractions, the Banff Gondola, for a night of cocktails and views. The Banff bucket list trip begins now. Hey y'all, hey. we're excited. So excited. Because we're going on a bucket list trip. Yes, we are headed to Banff, Canada. Banff! 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 It is a bucket list item for us because, for me especially, one of my friends got married in Banff uh, like six years ago and it was the most beautiful place I'd ever seen in pictures. So I want to see it in real life. Bring us to the mountains. This is all the more special because we're my best friends. In fact, two of my oldest friends that I've known since I was five years old. We are in Calgary, they have just landed and they're supposed to be pulling up in a pretty sick ride for this incredible bucket list best friends trip to Banff. Let the wild rumpus begin! Is it them? Is it them? What a ride. <laughs> That's badass. That's sick. The child locks are on. Yeah. Whoa! Banff is a one and a half hour drive from Calgary. The scenery is mainly flatlands for about an hour, but then all of a sudden the mountains jump out in front of you and they look even bigger from a minivan. And we had to stop at a lookout point mm -hmm. because even in the rain, this is beautiful. Florida does not look like this. This is one of the most stunning things we have ever driven to, ever. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we've been blessed to see so many beautiful views, <laughs> but this one's pretty good. Not as good as my joke. Yeah, your joke was better than the view. <laughs> we've just realized we have yet to pick up bear spray. If we see a bear, we've decided all we have is human feces or urine, and uh, you know, that's what we're working with. Yeah. I do have one old donut, but I don't think that's going to help. No, I can send the desert. Yeah. <laughs> With three couples together, we wanted an Airbnb type of accommodation instead of a standard hotel room. We lucked out with Hidden Ridge Resort, situated on Tunnel Mountain and only 10 minutes away from downtown. The property was stunning, with mountain views all around, and the service was impeccable. And just wait for the pool. The best part of an Airbnb is walking in for the first time. <laughs> Let's do it, everybody. Here we go. Oh. oh. So, so, so nice. Wow. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Look at the view. Oh, my gosh. This is the mountain feels I wanted. We felt at home in this cozy mountain cabin from the moment we stepped in. This doesn't suck. Our unit featured an upstairs loft and bathroom, a living room kitchen area complete with a fireplace, and two bedrooms and a bathroom downstairs. There was so much room for activities. The town is that way. <laughs> We're in Banff National Park, in case you're wondering. Banff Friends, Banff Trip! Woo! After a long day of hiking, nothing relaxed us more than the incredible Hidden Ridge Resort pool. The pool and hot tub overlook the mountains so you never break eye contact with Mother Nature. It also has a sauna to help ease your hiking weary bones. Time for some morning exploration. We are literally hugged by mountains where we are here in Banff. Look at the mountain right there. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Oh Canada is photoshopped <laughs> everywhere. So this is so much prettier than Canada at Epcot. I was not even prepared for it. The cool thing about Hidden Ridge Resort is when you book here, it includes bus passes mm -hmm. for the duration of your stay. Yeah, and it's complimentary, which we weren't expecting. So you can just leave your car here. We did rent a car, but you can leave your car here, hop on the bus so you don't have to worry about parking or traffic mm -hmm. or anything like that. So, and you can also get tipsy at night and not have to worry about and anyone no, <laughs> being a DD. Yeah, exactly, because we're being safe. Yeah, we're on Tunnel Mountain. We're going to take the bus today to go to downtown Banff. We found the Rome buses to be on time, comfortable, and super clean. We highly recommend them to get around Banff.
The Banff Gondola is one of the park's most popular tourist attractions, so much so that we highly recommend taking the Rome bus due to extremely limited parking. It's incredibly busy during peak season, so we advise reserving tickets ahead of time. The base features a nice gift shop, a coffee shop, and throngs of excited people ready to board. <laughs> so oh my word. So we're in the Banff Gondola and this thing takes off like rock and roller coaster at Hollywood Studios yes. and this thing shoots off. It is not messing around. <laughs> They're like, we gonna get you to the top of this mountain. Well, we were told you have to do this for an incredible view of downtown Banff and the surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. We've been on a mini a funicular in our time. Mm -hmm. We do love them. It's been years though. Yes. So I'm actually pretty excited. Last time we had like 18 people shoved in one. Now yeah. it's just less. Yeah. Oh, my ears just popped. Also, this one at the top of it, there's three different restaurants, an outside bar. So we are as dressy as we can get on a trip where we only packed carry on. Mm -hmm. But we can go up there and explore it. We're not hiking or anything. I don't even know if they do that. We're just here to cocktails. Yes. We were going to book the buffet reservation. I believe it was at the Northern Lights restaurant. Uh, we ended up canceling that because we went to the brewery earlier and ate and drank our way in beer and really good food. Not mad about it. No. And plus, like, we're not buffet people. Our eyes are always bigger than our stomachs. And uh, the amount of money that it costs for a buffet, we could never eat that much food, surprisingly. You're supposed to keep your hands and legs in the vehicle at no, all times. No, it just says don't lean out it. But you're okay. it feels really good outside. It feels like just fresh mountain air. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We're doing it again. We're oh, we're swinging. We're swinging. Our daughter would love this. We'll take you up here one day. Trust me. But today is not that day. <laughs> It takes eight minutes to ride the one mile track to the Sulphur Mountain Summit, and it's a hell of a ride. I have no facts to back this up, but I feel like this is the highest gondola I've ever been on in my entire life. This thing is high. There are some tourist traps that aren't worth your time and money, but this isn't one of them. From the moment we stepped out on the lower observation deck, those panoramic mountain views blew us away. This is the easiest way to feel like you're on top of the world. Not too shabby. Uh, no. As far as views go, pretty suck. good. The 360 degree rooftop observation deck feels like a lounge. There are so many places to sit with your friends and have excited conversations while savoring those views. This area alone is worth the admission price. You don't need to eat at the Alpine bar, Northern Lights bar, Alpine thing, whatever it's called. You can just order cocktails, which I've very clearly done. Cheers. Cheers. The Northern Lights Alpine Kitchen serves elevated ski lodge comfort food with panoramic views. They don't normally allow you to just sit and drink, but my wife can charm her way into any restaurant, so they made an exception for us. Cheers. I'm gonna brag, but I spotted it. What is it? It's a bighorn sheep, I think. I don't know, that's what some eight year old just said. I'm just going off of what he said because eight year olds are experts. Banff being a national park and all, this wasn't the only wildlife we saw. We also spotted several giant elk near our hotel. Caution always keeps your eyes open for the wildlife because, well, they are literally wild and you're in their territory. I knew I was gonna be in love with Banff and it has met and exceeded all of my expectations. It's been on my bucket list for years. Never seen any place like it in the entire world. 
and it is just truly breathtaking. Everyone's so nice, it's beautiful, and I think everyone's so nice because it is so beautiful. What was so cool to me is like, this is a bucket list trip, but I'm traveling with two oldest best friends, and I've known them since I was a little kid. I mean, we've been on a million trips together with all of our parents growing up, going to Florida, going to beaches, but now, as all adults, we all have kids, to come together for you know a, a couple's trip with best friends, their wives are our best friends now. This was almost like a spiritual place, right? To come here with your friends and, and savor these memories and bond more over travel. This is one of the places you should put on your list to do so because it was just absolutely incredible and I'm so thankful. So if you have not heard of Banff, if you've always wanted to go someplace where you can just get away and have an amazing life experience, this is the place for you. We hope you enjoyed our travels here in Banff, and uh, if you did, please hit that like button. It really does help. And subscribe to McCaleb Goes West for more worldly adventures. As they say in Canada. Bye, y'all. Bye, Banff. I didn't research that. I'm not sure if that's true. Bye, Banff. This is just the beginning of our Banff adventures. Check out our channel to see the epic hikes at Lake Louise and Lake Moraine, Johnston's Canyon, the Icefields Parkway, and the best restaurants and bars in downtown Banff. We hope to see you there.